marriage. Marriage is what brings us together. Okay, that was for all you Princess Bride fans out there. Great movie. Hello, and whatever time it is you are watching this webisode, I hope it is good. My name is Jeff Schubert, and my discovery of East Brunswick continued in Park Chateau Estate and Gardens. This place hosts many events, but they do specialize in weddings. I went there for the grand tour given by GM Tom Casella. I am north of 40 and not married, but hey, you never know. Hey Tom, thanks for having me in today. I want to ask you some questions because I was reading an article and it talked about the things that guests love the most. Right. So one of the things they like is the ceremony. Well, the ceremonies are the most important part in my eyes. I mean, that's why we're all here. We built the chapel here at the Park Chateau for a controlled environment. Girls are always worried about their hair, their makeup, and guests are always worried about falling into grass. Um, so with the chapel that we have on the property here, it's a controlled environment. I would imagine that's a big part of your job, anticipating the needs of both. That's my whole job. That's your whole job, right? <laughs> it's my whole job. Exactly. Now, number two on the list happens to be my personal favorite, the food. Right. And how important that is. Correct. Like whenever I go to any kind of affair, be it a wedding or anything else, right. the, the, two seconds after I come in the door, my family wants to know, how was the food, food right? right? Food, beverage, and service. That's the 100% question. Our chef, George Atif here. Uh, was with us at the Park Savoy and he, and he oversees all our food operations at the Ninas in the Park, the Park Savoy Estate and the Park Chateau. Now the bride and groom, I'm assuming they get a lot of choice in terms of what they select and do they sample food when they're considering your venue? Yeah, we do two ways. We, either they could try the food prior to booking or what we do, is, which is, I love, is doing, asking 15 brides about two months prior to to do a, we do a chef's suggested menu we start out in the cocktail hour and passing hors d'oeuvres and let them view the facility up and down and all around. And then we go into the ballroom and the chef does a sug chef suggested menu for their planning of their wedding that day. You mentioned the uh, Park Savoy a few minutes ago. That, that's another famous uh, wedding location. Right. It's actually rated number one in New Jersey at this point. And uh, it was our second property. It's in Florham Park. It's on a golf course. It is a Rhode Island estate filled with antiques and it's one event at a time, just like we are. Now, you also use the location for other type of, it's not, you're not just wedding only, correct? We're not. Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, we've been doing a lot of large corporate events. We just had the Hackensack Meridian merger here a few months ago. And here we are in the Grand Ballroom. Very nice. Five Austin crystal chandeliers, a 50-foot long dance floor, and behind the head table is a secret bridal suite where the bride can uh, just skip away from the crowd and relax. Uh, has her own restroom there. And then we have a huge bridal suite that's upstairs that has a full salon. When we built this facility, uh, the china was uh, purchased in England, flown to Ohio to get hand painted, and then we get it. The crystal is from Turkey. The silverware is from uh, Italy. And the linens are from Italy as well, which we had flown over and specially made for us. The new ownership took over when? Well, we took over uh, pretty much April of 16. It was the East Brunswick Chateau for many years, but we pretty much knocked it down because we wanted to make a French Chateau. And this is our early arrival room. We call it the living room. So as people arrive, uh, they can sit by the fireplace. Our hosts will get them a cup of coffee, even if it's three hours prior to the event. Place cards will be on this beautiful table with our fresh lilies, and we have the baby grand that plays through the whole facility. Okay, so this is the grand hallway, which is the conduit from cocktail hour space to ballroom, and it's a great welcoming into the cocktail hour room. So your guests will enjoy five distinctive areas for cocktail hour, and they're welcome with all, but this is the wine room, and this is where they are going to be uh, welcomed with an open bar prior to the event. When I look at a place like Park Chateau Estate and Gardens, I think to myself, yeah, if I win the lottery, maybe I can afford a place like this. But there's a lot of options, as Tom would explain, and it doesn't have to be as expensive as I thought. What are some of the variables that would affect 
pricing? Well, I mean, Saturday night, of course, is the most expensive. And May through October is wedding season. Anytime you're out of wedding season, November through March, you could save tons of money, almost 50%. What we do never changes. This is the library, which uh, is everyone's pretty much favorite room in the building. And our smallest. That's right. <laughs> and our smallest, but it's a great sitting area, great photo opportunities for the bride and groom. And uh -huh. We've done a lot of Gatsby kind of uh, pictures in here for the brides. Now, I feel like uh, we've neglected the men a little bit because we've talked about the main bridal suite, right. we've talked about the escape one, we did not talk about the uh, groom's room, right? right? Yeah, we've created a groom suite for uh, him to pretty much chill. There's a TV in there, a 60-inch TV, there's a stereo in there, there's leather couches, a bathroom, a closet, and all the groomsmen and the groom can kind of relax. Brides take about three hours or four hours to get ready. Us gentlemen, maybe 45 minutes. Now, the big question on that TV is, does it have like the NFL package Absolutely. on DirecTV? Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. Yes, let the me get full on video it. package, yeah. <laughs> and they're definitely watching sports. So this is the main cocktail hour room, and all the decorations that you see are included, from the dogwood to all the flowers around uh, the room. It's right. overlooking the grounds, so our Versailles gardens it's that gorgeous. we've created. So this is the veranda, one of those sitting rooms I was telling you about for cocktail hour. Um, which is also used for after parties where the men can smoke cigars. And I think you were explaining to me there are special... Um... Right, we have special vents that pull that smoke up, but these doors can open up all the way, so if the guests want to just feel like they're outside but they're inside, they can. So whether it's winter or summer, they can enjoy the sunroom. So in case anyone's still sober, <laughs> this would be the fifth cocktail area? This is the fifth cocktail hour area. Okay. We have an awning that protrudes off the building and we have cushions for all these tables. And we have this great outdoor grill and bar where we do margarita bar, a margarita bar and a southwestern oh. grill that they can enjoy. Here we are coming up to our non-denominational chapel. Yes, we built a chapel. And now we flow into the chapel, which can go up to over 300 people. So we copied Beautiful. it from uh, a chapel that's on an estate in Normandy, France. Uh -huh. um, hence the beams and all that. I can definitely see uh, Tarantino doing something with this <laughs> woman. Absolutely. Movie. Now, actually, I bring that up jokingly because I, re I met one of the owners and I recall right. him telling me a story about um, turning down the opportunity to shoot a scene from The Sopranos. And oh, they wanted to kill somebody at the front of Nanina's in the park. We've been lucky enough to do movies, television shows, and things of that sort, but when The Sopranos called and said they wanted to kill somebody at the front door, we put our foot down. Tom gave me a great tour. I want to thank him for that, and Park Chateau Estate and Gardens is truly beautiful. If I ever do decide to walk that walk, I will definitely give Park Chateau my strongest consideration. I think the uh, football in the groom's room is the thing that would uh, close the deal for me. The place has so much to offer, and what it doesn't already have on its menu, it seems willing to go that extra mile to accommodate it for you, which is really nice and special. For those of you out there who are about to get married now or in the future, I sincerely wish you the best. Good luck. I'll leave you burning, burning. Oh, oh, oh.